Uh, hello, my name is Paura Sigfursdottir and I'm a choreographer from Iceland based in Brussels. And uh, currently I'm at Bora Bora working on my new creation, The Lover, which will premiere in Börsgaber in Brussels on the 27th and 28th of March uh, 2015. This piece is inspired by a photography series by Noemi Godal, a French visual artist and photographer. Uh, and um, it is about uh, the relationship of humans and nature and how it's all intertwined. And uh, so we are lovers of nature, the humans. Uh, the man loved the earth so much uh, that we completely consumed it and devoured it until there was nothing left, but then nature built new landscapes, because nature will always find its way. For sure, the theme is also inspired uh, from my Icelandic background. I really believe that uh, in our generation, I would wish that we would uh, care more and uh, be more responsible for the future for other generations. Because I feel now uh, it becomes very much about what we can have and consume immediately and not so much about the future. I wish that the lover can be a reflection for the audience. Uh, it can be a reflection on their relationship to nature. The performance will be yeah, very visual. It's a dance performance uh, at its core, but then it is a very strong collaboration with this uh, installation made by Noemi Godal and uh, worked on with 88888. <laughs> and, uh, and then as well, uh, I asked uh, Icelandic musician Borko, Björn Kristjánsson, uh, to make a soundscape. And uh, yeah, he's making something really incredible, very sensitive and uh, we are also playing with placing monitors around the space and, and finding ways how the sound can travel. And uh, in one scene, uh, this comes quite strongly because uh, there's, we are putting the sound really strongly from the back and then slowly it's kind of taking over. So, so suddenly it's like you kind of drown inside the sound. Uh, but it's a very nice effect. After I had worked six weeks on the movement, uh, then Borko, the musician, he came from Iceland to work with me. And uh, yeah, it was quite magic the first day that he came. Uh, what he made was just... Because uh, we had been throwing uh, around ideas and he had sent me some propositions, but uh, yeah, it was really like... Uh, then we had spoken a lot and it was just like he knew what the work needed. So he brought this and it, was, uh, it took a huge jump, the development of the work with getting the soundscape. So I really, I really, really like what he has made. I research a lot through improvisation. So I basically improvise a lot and I record and then step by step, um, I select material that fits this piece. And uh, this is quite a long process somehow, but then at the same time, it's very clear for me when the material fits. It 
it's very important for me, uh, for my work, to have a very clear concept because when you have a clear concept, everything what I do in the studio, it will immediately relate to the concept. Um, so you will immediately start to have references and uh, metaphors. I like also to find ways how to decompose the body and how to uh, find a way that the body is not just a body on stage. I mean, it will always be a body anyway, but how I can uh, zoom the focus and attention of the audience to smaller segments of my body and that could actually then transform to being something else. I have a very specific way to work with movement that I'm still discovering and I still need to uh, research that and search very much within. So for now it makes sense to make a solo. Uh, and I'm in this piece I'm very much working like with the presence on stage um, as trying to find a way how to be transparent, how to be uh, never commenting on anything that I do uh, so it's really the action that speaks and I think this gives also a really uh, something very, I don't know if I can say pure, <laughs> but something I think easy to read and, and to enter for the audience because uh, I, I wish that it can really be a reflection. For me, Brussels has been yeah, this place that just has so much richness in culture and in art. And uh, there is also quite big immigration. Uh, and this is also very nice because you have a lot of yeah, exchange and you meet a lot of different and diverse people that you, you learn from and, and you share the life there. And uh, yeah, I find it very important for me now to live in such a cultural, diverse place. Mm, but then now it's nice, for example, to be in Denmark because it reminds me more of Iceland. It's like the, there are some of the same things in the bakery. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and it's, I, I would, uh, for me, it's also nice to be in Scandinavia and being Iceland and just for the culture, of course, it's, it's like where I come from. And, and in Iceland, there's incredible nature, which is also a big inspiration for this piece. Uh, I ended up actually at Bora Bora because uh, I was uh, at Kedia this summer and I met the staff here and uh, I had already heard about the residency because somehow the name has really gone around, uh, that it's a very nice place to work uh, with uh, good facilities and uh, yeah and then I just, uh, yeah I, I just felt uh, it sounded like, and it felt, felt like a nice atmosphere so then uh, it, I needed still uh, one week uh, uh, between residences here and I was performing at ISOT, my old solo on the other side of Ascendium. So then the, this was just on the way back to Belgium. So I just, yeah, I asked Jesper if there was a possibility and he said, well, yes, you're very welcome. So here I am. <laughs> kind of constantly inspired. I'm very passionate about life and about what happens and about people. And um, yeah, I, I, f I think anything what you see, I, I think when you work in the arts and, and just for your life, you know, you're always just uh, searching and checking things. I think it's important to be curious and uh, keep open. Mm -hmm. 